Well, g'day guys. I just thought I'd give a quick update on what's going on here with this thing. Um, as you can see, obviously, it's going back together. Got the specs from the dealer for the liner protrusion. You're allowed one to four thousandths of an inch. Uh, I did a double, triple, quadruple check at the back there. The lowest I had was about 1.75 there. So we're within specs. We've got plenty there to work with, I think. If I was iffy on it at all, we just wouldn't be putting it back together. So we're going to get it back together. We have missed this tractor so much. It, it gets used, basically it gets used every single day. So we're going to get it back together. Hopefully we can put it back to work soon. And, and uh, yeah, happy days. Let's get to it. Well, she is absolutely purring. That is absolutely awesome. Before I put any covers or anything back on, I'm gonna go for a really good drive, give everything a really good check over. I'm gonna put some fresh oil, a fresh oil filter on it. And then uh, I've just got water in it now, um, just to check it over for leaks and that sort of thing. So I'll dump that out and put some fresh coolant in. Then the covers can go back on, load her on, off to work. Hello, you wanna come for a ride? You better ask your mum. Did you want to come for a little drive, did you? No. Did you want to come for a little ride in the tractor? No, no. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Dad got it running again, what do you think? Nice ride! Nice, huh? Nice. Boy, howdy, it feels good, Pia. <laughs> don't you want to hop down yet? Do you yet? want to come with mum or do you want to stay with dad? Okay, what? <laughs> you want to hop down? Sounds like it's fixed. Oh well, yeah, hopefully. Did you have fun? Uh, don't have any leaks, don't have any problems yet, which is a good sign. Rightio, I have driven and driven and driven this thing. Checked it over. I can't seem to find anything wrong with it, so that's good. It's just a shame I don't have it ready right now because we've actually got a load of hay being delivered. Uh, probably in about five or ten minutes, so it would have been very nice <laughs> to have this thing, but anyway. So it really looks like this loader is going to stretch out for another day because right after I said that we're getting a delivery of hay, we've had some eventuations. I've had to go out to Blaley with Dad, picked up a tractor from me out there and uh, yeah now it's late afternoon or later in the afternoon and I'm just getting back to this so probably not going to get it finished today which is what I was hoping to do. Now don't be alarmed here this is only water Oi he's flowing out with the old and in with the new. Okay, good morning guys. Um, it's another day. Uh, this video I feel like it's going to be a little bit here, there and everywhere. But anyway, I didn't quite get the load of finish yesterday. Um, yeah, the day just got away from me to be honest. Um, it's all running. I'm happy with everything. Uh, it just needs a bonnet and the loader put back on it. So. We'll get to that at some point, but right now, we probably really should be starting to dry seed some of our crop. To do that, we're going to need to do some spraying. So what I've got here for the sprayer is a new set of nozzles. I'm going to put this, uh, put these on this morning and give this a good check over, make sure the nozzles seem like they're right. Uh, we haven't got any leaks or anything anywhere because I, I did pull all the filters out on this and 
and give everything a good clean out. So um, yeah, we're gonna get that done that way. Uh, if we come to uh, doing a bit of spraying in the next few days, we're good to go. cold this morning the oil doesn't want to move <laughs> all right so i'm going to try and think of the best way to explain this but nozzle selection is just about everything for your sprayer all right um it's going to determine what droplet size you have at what pressure and then that's also going to affect the speed that you can run so droplet size is really important because if you have too fine a droplet size it can be too misty and fine and it can basically just get taken away by the wind or whatever else really really easily and you don't get the product to where you want it to go so if you're running too coarse a droplet size um, you might not get the coverage over the ground over the weeds that you need to do an effective job so this is obviously quite important now what happened at summertime um, <laughs> dad was used to running the uh, old hardy and that's on 50 centimeter spacing so this is on 25 centimetre spacing, so he went and got a set of blue nozzles, not thinking that, um, yeah, we were on tighter spacings with our, with our nozzles. So what we ended up having to do was turn every second one off so that we could maintain our droplet size, but basically these nozzles provide too much flow. So um, that's why, like a 50 centimetre spacing, they need to be able to provide more flow. So what I've got now is a set of green nozzles. I'm going to go through, spin all these ones around, new nozzles on, Hopefully we're going to have um, the right flow we need at the right pressure and all those good things. These nozzles are really good. Um, we've got some Arag nozzles. They run a, a coarse droplet size pretty much across the entire pressure range, which is what we want for our winter spraying. We want to keep that coarse um, our droplet size. So we're going to get that done, get some water in, check everything over. Hopefully she's all good. Now yeah, i just got to do that like 120 more times. Well, there we have it. About 120 nozzles there. Cap, nozzle, seal, repeat. Cap, nozzle, seal, repeat. That was tedious. Radio. That is done. That is a lot of nozzles to change. Wowee. <laughs> we'll uh, fold up and go put some water in and give it a run. Now, we are actually shearing today. We've been shearing for the last couple of days. So it is customary to head up to the house straight after morning smoko and see what leftovers there are me to eat. Come on doll, we're going in for a snack. You coming? Mm -hmm. See what the shear has left us for smoko. So, there was a few extra people. Ah, um, so they left us, left us with nothing. Some bickies and finger bun, but I've got a sausage roll off the side for you. You want some of my sausage roll? Okay. What do you say? Okay. Good girl. Okay. You want a little sauce on it? Okay. Okay. Bit hot. Um, Here you go, try that. Cheers. Is that a good bicky? Mm. Mm. Well, that was a bit disappointing. I was expecting to get some leftovers, but however, Stacy did save me an entire sausage roll, so I, I fared okay. Now, if you were wondering, you're saying to yourself, Henry, we know that you guys run a mixed farm there with livestock as well. You run sheep, you do your cropping. How come you never do much sheep work or how come you're never down the shearing shed? Uh, any of those things. Well, number one, I don't really like sheep much. Dad doesn't really like cropping. So we kind of cross over. I focus mainly on the cropping. Dad does all the sheep work. At shearing time, we always have a full shed of uh, shed hands and rouses. So Generally, there's not really much for me to do down there. We have had a horrendous year with breakdowns and just machinery things. 
we got this sprayer we had no end of trouble with that when we got it i just haven't had any time to do anything else i've literally been stuck down that shed uh, working on gear all the time or moving dirt or starting seeding so that's why uh, I haven't been doing much sheet work or helping dad out much with the sheet work so but I don't know maybe in the future let me know let me know in the comments if you want to see more sheep stuff so we, we can make that happen So I'm just checking over all the nozzles, making sure we haven't got any leaks coming out of here or anywhere else. Uh, making sure they look like they're spraying properly. Have got a leak coming out of that filter there. Need to sort that out. That one there is not spraying properly in the middle. And don't worry guys, this is only water in here at the moment, so that one there is no good as well. Might run into town here and see if I can't get some O-rings for these banjo fittings. These banjo filters, sorry. And then we will come back and pull a couple of nozzles off and just there'll be a bit of dirt or something in them, no doubt. Give them a bit of a clean out. Alright, well, they didn't have any O-rings there, but they will get them overnight and I'll have them in the morning. So, not a bad result, really. It's not like we're uh, using it at this very second, so we'll get them in and get that sorted out. Go back and fix up these nozzles, I think. I can just see a little tiny piece of something down in there. Anyway, we're all looking pretty good here at the moment, I think. I've got one stretch of hose down by that end section that's leaking, so I think I'll change that. Uh, and then, we'll take it out in the paddock for a run, I think. Just leaking out of there. Probably could try and tighten the clamp, but that hose looks old and brittle as, and I can just imagine what's going to happen. It won't happen. <laughs> doing it it looks like what they advertise these nozzles to do is exactly what they're doing so that's a good thing <laughs> um, some people probably would say that we, we well they might say that what we the speed we want to spray at is a little bit too slow but we're sort of aiming for a hundred liters per hectare at around 16 to 17 kilometers an hour and 80 liters per hectare at about 18 to 19 kilometers an hour. We don't really want to go any faster than that. Um, a lot of our paddocks, we've got a lot of smaller paddocks, 20 hectare paddocks. Uh, we've got a lot of steep terrain, um, some reefs and things like that to go around. So we don't want to be flying around too much quicker than that in some of our country. Um, it's a lot easier to manage when you're not going quite as fast. So I think I'm about done here. This is a good thing. This is a very good thing. Very happy. It's good when a plan comes together because Sometimes, lately, it feels like it doesn't. And hey, I'm probably giving this paddock the best dose of moisture that it's had for... months. <laughs> right, we are out of here, back to the shed. Uh, I'm gonna leave this video here, guys. Thanks very much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave us a uh, thumbs up if you can, subscribe if you like the videos, uh, take it easy, have a good one, see you next time. Hey, do you know that the sprayer did exactly what it was supposed to do? <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? Can you say excellent? Excellent.
<laughs> Good kill. Yeah.